Hey there, YouTube bassists. This is John from johnfoxbass.com, premium bass guitars. Coming to you today with a brand new Dingwall Afterburner 1 with a cool Buckeye Burl top and Wenge neck, Wenge fingerboard, Lumen Lay side dots. Um, it's got a pair of FTV pickups and it's passive as you can see. <clears throat> and it's got the series parallel switches and uh, this is the ACDC model because the back is in black. It is back in black. And um, I'm gonna, I wanna walk through something very cool. Um, to, in case you weren't uh, aware, you know, all the Dingwalls um, come with a four way pickup selector switch, um, which gives you four distinct tones, um, not including your EQ settings. But when you add the series parallel switches, if you've got a two pickup bass, you go from having four tones to having 12. Because with each pickup by itself, you've got series or parallel. And then with, when you've got the pair of pickups together, um, you've got you know, both down, both up, up and down, down and up. You've got four. So four and four is eight, and then two and two. And so that's 12 tones. If you have a three-way, uh, a three, three pickup bass, you've still got 12 tones. Same. Um, <clears throat> if you were to add a six-way switch, which some people do, they just can't get enough tones, you know, with 12. <laughs> so you add a six-way switch, and now you can have anywhere from 18 to 24 distinct tones. Uh, it's staggering, depending on how you uh, arrange the switch. If you do like all three, and then all, all the co three combinations of two pickups, and then... Um, couple combinations you know with a single pickup you can get up to 24 uh, tones which is too much really <laughs> so I think 12 is enough I think 4 is probably enough for most people but but if you really like to dial it in um, you can go nuts with uh, with the tones and that's not even that's not even uh, including adding an, an EQ or a, a, a preamp um, it's like the dark glass or the glock and clang so what I want to do is um, <clears throat> run through uh, I'll try to run through the 12 tones if I can and dial each one in uh, to get it sounding the way I'd like it. And um, so you can, you can see how, how much variety there is. Um, and I'll, I'll start basically at uh, you know, position one here and then uh, series parallel and go through to 12. And also, um, I want to point out that <clears throat> this video is being recorded with the bass going into uh, a little box from Caveman Audio and then straight into the camera. So there's nothing else uh, in the signal chain except the cables. Uh, and I've actually got two boxes here. I've got the BP-1 bass preamp and I've got the BP-1 compact. And, um, and I hooked up an AB switch actually uh, to be able to flip between them to hear, uh, I wanted to hear if there was any difference. And I'm not really hearing any difference uh, between the two that I can, that I can notice easily um, monitoring through the camera. I'll have to make a, a you know, high quality recording, uh, and see, see what I can tell. But, um, the, uh, the big one obviously has more features, more functionality. Um, you can run your, it's got a, it's got an XLR in for your wireless, um, and, uh, some other stuff, but, um, but they're both just awesome. So I'll, I'll just play a couple notes and switch between them. So here's, here's the big one. And now here's the compact. And back to the big one. All right, so for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna leave it alone, put it on the, uh, the compact BP-1C it's called. You can um, see those on the website, johnfoxbass.com uh, slash pedals, or just click on pedals, and you'll see it there. I've got a few of them left, uh, more on the way. Um, and uh, for the big one, I, I just have the one right now, uh, the floor model, so that one's probably gonna stay here, um, and uh, others are on the way. So let me know if you want uh, either one of those. 
And let's, let's go through some tones on this bass and give it a listen. There's all 12, as you can hear, there's a lot of variety in there, so let's noodle around a little bit. So, as you can see, lots of variety, and um, this thing is crazy lightweight. It's, it feels like a toy. I don't understand <laughs> uh, how it can be so light. I don't think that the uh, preamp adds that much, um, that much weight, but uh, it feels like nothing. It's crazy. Anyway, um, unfortunately for you, lucky for somebody else, uh, this base has been sold, but uh, you can get yours at johnfoxbass.com, premium bass guitars. Thanks for watching.